HJF's mission is to advance military medicine. It's actually in our name, the Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine. So that drives all of our decisions. So people don't necessarily think of military medicine as applying both to the warfighter and to the family. Uh, and the way it does is if you're a warfighter, you're out doing your job, you get a diagnosis of breast cancer. So you want to make sure, and HJF helps to make this happen, we support military medicine by making sure that that breast cancer research is happening so we get innovative treatments and the best care possible to the warfighter so they can go back out and do their job. Now on the family side of things, that family member may have a diagnosis and what you need to do is make sure that the warfighter feels comfortable, that the family member is getting the care that they need. Again, so the warfighter can focus on their job knowing that the family is in good hands. I am happy to talk about the Clinical Breast Care Project. So first of all, that was acquired by the Martha Cancer Center. I believe it was 2012, but they had been in operation since 2000. So they'd been around for almost 20 years. They were acquired by the Martha Cancer Center and became part of the Breast Cancer Translational Research Center, which is a center of excellence within the DOD. Uh, that is a great example of a public-private partnership. And it is with the uh, military treatment facilities. It is with the Martha Cancer Center as well. Well, HDF is a strong proponent and component of that aspect too. And then there's the Winber Research Institute up in Pennsylvania. So again, this is an amazing uh, biorepository of human cancer cells that are available to researchers and clinicians going forward. So it's an amazing resource. Like I say, it's a great example of how private and public industry can work together to get a, an excellent benefit.